hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you to all my new subscribers uh, my old subscribers I welcome and appreciate everyone uh, in today's tutorial we'll be drafting an off shoulder princess that uh, bodies so I'll be drafting this on a pattern paper first and I will use this to create an um, address later on and um, that will be on a different uh, video so the first thing that you're going to do is uh, grab your pattern paper and then you draw a guideline on that guideline since this is an off shoulder we'll be starting our measurement by taking off uh, four and a half inches so this is how off i want my um my top uh, to be you can use five six depending on how off you want yours to be so from there you're going to mark your chest line measurement and then the bust point uh, measurement that's your shoulder to your bust point and then uh, shoulder to your under bust measurement and uh, the shoulder to your half length or your waist line measurement and you add um one inch seam allowance to that okay so after you've uh, marked all the all your points you take a ruler and extend all the lines that you have marked All right, go ahead and label all the lines, chest line, bust point, under bust, and then the waist line. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is on the bust point line, you will be placing the nipple to nipple measurement. So my nipple to nipple measurement is four inches and I add half an inch to that for joining and that gives me four and a half. So I place it on the bust point, the under bust, and also on the waistline. Now I'm going to use a ruler and connect all these, uh, all these uh, three points uh, together in a straight line. I will also place the nipple to nipple measurement uh, at the beginning of our pattern paper. However, you add an extra half inch on that on the four and a half inches you got earlier. So that's making it five inches. So you place five inches at the beginning of the pattern paper like I just did. Then you connect it from your boss point all the way up just like this okay so now we are going to be creating our dot so for the dot you're going to go on your under bust depending on how full you want your bust area to be you can use one inch one and a half inch or two inches it totally depends on you so but for me on on the purpose of this tutorial i'm using one and a half inches of um, measurement on both sides of the under bust uh, line then on the waistline i'm using one inch on each side okay so one and a half inches on the under bust line and one inch on both sides of the waist line now we're gonna go to the shoulder area so we're going to be taking out one inch on both sides of the uh, line so making it two inches we're taking out two inches of that on that area now from your boss point you come down by one inch and then also go up by one inch so the the dots from the bottom is going to end one inch before the boss point and the dots coming from the top is going to end one inch before the boss point so now we're going to use your ruler and connect from that one inch below bus point connected to the 
on the bus dot, then to the waistline dot. Now you're gonna do the same for the other side. Okay, so this uh, this is the dot, and now we're going to connect the the dot we took off from the shoulder area. So that's going to end on that one inch before the bust point. So it's like I'm showing you here. You just extend the lines like so. Okay. So now we've created our dots, so you're going to use your marker and then um, fix all the sharp edges. So you don't want to have a sharp edge when you cut this out. And then on the bust area, you're going to do the same. Fix all the sharp edges. Okay. So now our dot has been created. The next thing is to continue with the rest of the measurements. Now on the chest line, uh, um, on the chest line, you're going to be dividing your bust measurement by four inches, and also measure the dots that you already have there. So for me, I have like about half an inch already on there. So what I'm going to do is um, you add it back to whatever measurement you're going to place on the uh, chest line. So I divided my uh, bust by four and um, that's, um, I, got, I have uh, nine and a half plus the half inch plus also the one inch to join it plus an extra two inches as uh, seam allowance. Okay, so we're going to do the same for the waist area. We already took out two inches uh, dot, and my waist divided by four is eight and a half inches. So we add that two inches back to the eight and a half inches, making it 10, plus the one inch to join them together. That's 11, plus another two inches for the seam allowance, and that's um, 13 inches, okay? So now, on the top area, this is where we're going to be placing the measurement for um, the measurement we want the that uh, our off shoulder to be as well. So I use that five inches there, plus the two inches that allowance we already took, and one inch uh, to join them back. And then that's um, 10 inches. So I just uh, created that right there with my armhole curve, connecting it to my bust measurement. Okay. So now you're going to come down from the folded edge by two inches. You're going to use your armhole curve and create a sweetheart uh, neckline. Or if you want yours to be straight, you can just leave it as is. But I want mine to have a sweet ne sweetheart neckline. So I came down by two inches and then I use my French curve and connect it like this. All right, so now we connect the rest of the side seam lines. And there you have it, the pattern for the front is all done. So I just label it as my front pattern and the center fold. So that edge is going to be cut on the center fold when you go to cut it out on your fabric. So now I'm just going to cut out the pattern.
So you just watch closely how I'm cutting the that out. You follow the same way to cut out your own. Okay. okay and then you go ahead and cut out the neckline curve. Okay, so the front uh, pattern is all done. So you have a line. You have the center front and then the side, uh, the side front. So the side front, so you're going to be cutting two of that, one for each side, but the center one, you cut one on fold. Okay, so that's what I just labeled here side seam you cut two on four on two on your fabric and the center you cut one piece on fold all right so now the back the front is ready now we are going to go ahead and uh, draft the back uh, pattern And the first thing that you're going to do is mark out the draw out your guideline on your pattern paper draw out the guideline where you will start Okay, I just went ahead and drew the guideline. And now, just like as we did for the front, we are going to take out four inches, four and a half inches. So you place it right there on that guideline. Then we'll mark out the chest line. And again, the bust point. We just need the bust point for our dart, okay, for the back. And then the waist measurement plus the one inch as seam allowance. Now we're going to extend the lines. Okay, so we're going to label the chest line, bust point, and the waist uh, line. Okay. So now the next thing is uh, on the bust point, we are going to place the nipple to nipple measurement. However, before doing that, we have to put the um, zipper allowance. So I forgot to do that in the beginning. So I'm going back and I'm, I'll mark one and a half inches at the beginning for the zipper allowance okay so since this is for the back and we will be using lining for this so you definitely need a zip allowance so that's what i did here you just extend the lines and then go ahead and label that as your zip allowance now on the bust point, place the nipple to nipple measurement plus the half inch um, seam allowance. So you'll be doing this uh, after the zip allowance, okay? Don't uh, start all the way from the beginning. You mark your nipple to nipple just after the zip allowance. Okay, so now the next thing, we go on the waistline. Just like we did for the front, we'll be taking one inch on both sides for the dart. And then the bust points are the dart for the back goes starts at one inch above the bust point. 
which is what I just marked here. So I'm just going to connect my dots. Okay, so go ahead and connect the dots like this. So if you want your that if you just want to have a waist that then you're basically done but if you want to cut yours out just like the front you're going to you know continue on and cut the the that all the way straight so on the guideline i went ahead and put uh, the same five and a half inches uh, for the neck uh, line the neck uh, width and then I'll go ahead on the chest line and put my bust measurement plus my um, seam allowance. You divide your bust by four inches and add your, your seam allowances, just like we did for the front. Then on the waistline, we're going to do the same. Divide the waist by four inches and then you plus the two inches that we're taking out from the from the um, waist plus one inch that you're going to use to join the dots and then plus two inches as seam allowance. So you place all that there and uh, mark your line. Okay, so I'm just rechecking for the bust area. You divide your bust by four inches and add your seam allowance. Okay, so now if you this if you want you go you're going to go ahead and connect your armhole curve. You connect your armhole curve where your neckline width will end. Remember on the guideline I said you you use a four five and a half inches there and then you connect. Then you connect all your points. okay so now basically this is done and if you want uh, to just reuse a waist that you leave this as is but if you want to have the same design as you did for the um for the front you extend the line all the way to the to the beginning and that is going to just as I did here, what I just did on that guideline, I placed the nipple to nipple measurement and just extend my lines it's because I want to cut it out the same way for the like the front. So now for your the style of the neckline you want for the back, it's also up to you. If you want, you can just do um if you want you can just leave it straight or you can you know make um, a different neckline for the back so for me i want a, a deep v neckline so that's what i did so i took out the four and a half inches before i get the weight of um, i mean the length of the neckline that i want so i took off the four and a half inches and ended up seven inches because i want it to be deep in the back and uh, basically that's it and then i go ahead and cut this out Again, like I said, if you don't want to, if you don't want uh, different pieces for the back, you can leave it uh, leave it as is, as is, and then just 
taking your dad but if you want uh, the same design as the pack you go ahead and cut it out so this is exactly what i'm doing here i'm cutting that out you go ahead and cut the dot out like this okay and then this is your back piece and you'll be cutting two for the center and also two for the sides okay so your fabric you cut two sides and two center back okay so that's uh, on how, that's it on how you cut a uh, off shoulder princess that uh, bodies and if this uh, tutorial has been helpful please do subscribe like share comment and um stay tuned on how i'll use this to make a, a, a dress and i'll see you soon on my another video